let's wrap up what we've done in this module. We examined the OSI model and we identified components within the OSI model that represent data plus a header. We saw that with a segment is a transport layer header plus a chunk of data. Usually that data is from the application layer. We identified a packet. Packet is a network layer header plus some data. That data is usually a segment. Now we also call the network layer the internet layer in the TCP IP model. So our packet exists at either the network layer in the OSI model or the internet layer in the TCP IP model. And then we have our frame. The frame is a data link layer header plus some data. The data is usually a packet from the network layer, but it doesn't have to be. It's not always a packet. But a frame is a data link layer header. We can also call this the network interface layer in the TCP IP model. So frames exist at the data link layer in the OSI model and the network interface layer in the TCP IP model. At this point, if you can memorize these three pieces of terminology, it's going to take you a long way in future networking videos as well as understanding how data networks work. Understanding how data networks work revolve directly upon understanding the vocabulary we use to describe it. If we can't use the correct vocabulary to describe it, we're going to have a really hard time understanding what's happening because it's going to introduce a level of complexity that we may not be interested in in learning data networking. Data networking is super simple if we can break it down into tiny components. And if you haven't noticed yet, everything we've done so far is to continuously break down and identify language to describe these little intricate parts of data networking. I hope you enjoyed this. Let's move on to the next video, which gets us into addressing and our first demonstration of this video series.